Hi everyone, it's Sandy and I'm excited to share this layout with you because it came together so easy. So I'm using the June Click Kit which is featuring the Journey Collection by Crate Paper and I do have a couple of, well I have some of the add-ons in there as well as an extra add-on of paper and like I purchased some of this craft paper and different things like that. So I have a lot of the papers to choose from. So what I'm doing is I'm going through my kit and I haven't really, I've used it, but I've used bits and pieces here and there. So I'm pulling out a lot of the 12 by 12 sheets that I've already cut into and I'm just gonna take some strips off of the top. So what I'm gonna be doing is making a, um, what do you call it? I'm gonna be doing layers from the top all the way down and they're gonna come narrowing down towards the bottom. So I came up for, I don't remember, but at work during this week, I came up with like four or five layouts back to back. So I quickly sketched them out and this was one of them and I knew it would come together really fast and it really did. So I haven't edited anything out of here. The only thing I did, I did stop the video while I was adding the title, but other than that, I didn't edit anything. So as you can see, I'm just cutting strips and I'm tearing them just with my hand. I'm just tearing the ends of it so they can start to um, narrow down towards the bottom. So I'm just kind of making sure the patterns go together and just kind of playing. I'm not gluing anything down yet, not committing to anything because I know I want my strips to be different shapes, like wider, thinner. I'm not worried about them being straight or anything like that. That's why I'm using my ruler and just kind of just tearing the ends off. Um, by hand and I'm just kind of making sure also to spread out the colors enough so where I don't have a lot of the brown together or a lot of the blues or anything like that together so that's all I'm doing right here now that picture that I'm using today is a picture of me and Erica and Erica is one of the uh, co-founders of Click Kit and it just so happened uh, I was I had a boxer Izzy and we just weren't around to take care of her really and it was just too much for me with my husband traveling and things like that I really just decided I just needed to let her go so I posted her on Facebook and Erica was like oh my goodness you're really gonna get rid of Izzy and we kind of just started texting back and forth about Izzy like that and then I just threw it out there I was like do you really want her like are you interested in her and she was kind of like yeah I kind of am and her husband was down for it and everything I was like well if you're serious I will totally meet you halfway because we live about 10 hours from each other and I really really wanted Izzy to go to a good home like because she is a good dog she's just for us right now we're just too busy and it's just not fair you know and it's just not fair like with us running around here and there it's too hard to kennel her all the time and things like that so anyways but I knew I would only let her go to a good home well Erica had grown up around boxers and things like that and she had been wanting one it just all seemed to fall into place so sure enough we decided to meet and uh, yeah, so I drove five hours, she drove five hours and we met and it was so quick, you guys, like I could totally have stayed the weekend. We didn't get to craft, we didn't get to do anything. We had breakfast together and things like that, but we both had to drive home. So I would totally love to meet Erica again, you know, like meet up with her, scrap with her, just do different things. She was, it's like one of those people like me and Lisa clicked. I just felt like we clicked, like we had a lot in common. So it was fun and not awkward at all. So we had snapped this picture uh, before she left and I made it black and white and I knew I wanted to scrap it. So it's so funny how I meet crafty people, but none <laughs> close by. <laughs> They're always far away. So, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. But so now what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and start gluing my strips down because it's all coming together pretty easy and I wanted to get it down so the layers, you know, would just stay down and I knew I had my colors the way I wanted them. So my intention was, you guys, uh, was as my layers got thinner towards the bottom, I was going to put the picture on the very bottom of the page and then add my title to those layers. But as you'll see, I'm going to swap it. I'll end up putting my picture on top of those layers and my title at the bottom. And I like that a lot better. So 
Yeah, so you know what my advice to you guys is if you guys have any uh, sketch ideas just pop in your head. I think I was listening to a podcast because at work I can listen to different podcasts, but I don't know what I was listening to. And I had uh, just different things on my mind and all of a sudden it popped into my head like, oh, I want a triangles to come this, you know, down or from the right side and down from the top. And then after I wrote that, I was like, oh, it would be fun to have a big triangle come down. Ooh, but layers. And I was just kind of sketching them out really quickly. So after I get all these sketches done, I'll probably do a video just showing. I've never really sketched anything out. And I'm telling you guys, these are like five scribble layouts on a little piece of paper. So anyways, I encourage you guys, if you guys have ideas, write it down. You'll never, you know, it might work out really well. So, okay, so there's a picture of me and Erica and I'm digging for some, let's see, for some more paper. Since I decided I didn't want my picture to go at the bottom, I was gonna let it continue on down a little bit more. So uh, I also have a six by six pad of this journey collection that I uh, added to the kit because I am using this kit to do a travel album and I knew I would be needing more paper than what was in the kit because I wanted to make layouts and I wanted to do pocket pages as well. So these little uh, smaller strips I am pulling from a 6x6 six six, uh, paper pad on those last two ones I think. So I go ahead and get my India ink because I knew I wanted some on there. Um, and you know what's funny about my India ink? I am almost out of it. It's so funny. I am down to the very bottom. So I think that's really cool. I just, I've really, really used it. And I really, I still like using it a lot. So it just adds that extra something to my layout. So I was going to put the picture down, but I knew it needed a matting. And I knew I had that black piece of paper there. So I went ahead and just put, you know, put it down with some ATG glue and I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors because nothing has to be perfect. I mean my layers aren't perfect so why worry about the mat around it right? So that's what I'm going to do there and then let's see I am looking for I can bear okay there we go I was looking for that um, little embellishments that I can add and I remember we had these epoxy stickers and I never knew what to do with that but I thought that would look pretty cool on the top so I go ahead and add it there and later on on my layout I'm going to add some more things from that sticker sheet as well from the epoxy sticker sheet and that came in the kit as well let's see I think I'm just digging and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I wanted to use that transparency but it was I don't know, I just didn't figure it fit on the page really well. So now I pull out these uh, alphas that came with the kit and they are from, let's see, I think I show you, yeah, they're by the niche is the collection they're from. And I forget who makes them though, you guys. Mm, maybe Pink Paisley, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. But anyways, I go ahead and I put my title down. So my title is Let's Meet Halfway because that's what I told Erica. I was like, if you really want her, I'll totally meet you halfway. I, you know, I think it'd be fun. So I thought that would make a really great title. I added that. I added some feathers off of the epoxy sheet. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a few little arrows at the bottom. And then I'm going to go back to my sticker sheet and pull some more from there. Since I didn't plan on putting my picture on the top, I thought I would have more embellishing on it. I do end up adding a few more stickers, but it's just enough. Like, I really, really like this layout. It's fun when it all comes together just the way you thought it would. And I didn't hesitate hardly on anything. I The only thing I did hesitate with the title because I didn't know what I want it to be. But then when I thought, oh, let's meet halfway, I thought that's perfect. So... After that, it started flowing again. So here we go. I'm going to add a hello sticker. I'm going to add an arrow, another feather, and then I believe like a road sign since both of us were traveling. So there you go, guys. I will leave you to watch the rest of it. It's just about done, and I have some still shots coming up. So this video was made for the blog hop for... Um, click kits. So if you want tons of inspiration on this collection, be sure to check out the blog hop. You can uh, start off with click kits and then there'll be a full lineup there. And anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.